An investigation is now underway after a Lehigh Acres teen crashed into North Fort Myers. At least one person is dead following a crash in Charlotte County last night. We have reached out to the Sheriff's Office and Florida Highway Patrol for more information. Count on NBC2 to bring you the latest there as well. Now, Fort Myers police say they need your help to finding a hit-and-run driver after they killed a man Saturday morning. Heads up, there's a scheduled water main shutdown for those of you in South Cape Coral. It starts tomorrow at 9 in the morning. Nearly 300 of you will be affected by this. It is near Palm Tree Boulevard. There are plans for a possible new boat ramp in Cape Coral. It would be added along Southwest 17th Street. This is near the corner of Trafalgar and Surfside. City leaders are set to discuss the plans on Wednesday, and you can count on NBC2 to keep you updated on what comes out of this meeting. News, the only pharmacy on Fort Myers Beach will be reopening next week. The CVS Pharmacy on Estero Boulevard was destroyed after Hurricane Ian, but the store will officially reopen December 15th. All new tonight at 6. One Christmas tradition in Cape Coral is coming to an end. What you and your family need to know to enjoy the fun and the lights one last time. That's ahead at 6. From your Cape Coral News team, one man is taking Christmas decorations to the next level. Take a look at this. So Neil Monkman decorates his home on Northeast 8th Terrace with more than 2,000 lights. Cannot imagine how long that takes to set up. And he's been doing this since 2007. They're all synchronized to music. The show grew from a local Christmas staple to a widespread sensation. And in Fort Myers, Christmas is in full swing at the McQuaid Family Light Show. This is on Ranchet Road in South Fort Myers. Thousands of lights are put up across their front yard. What makes this light display unique? The McQuaid's partner with Valerie's house each year to give back to a family in need. It lasted forever, but it, it was probably maybe 30 seconds. Man, you just heard from one of the victims of one of the deadliest tornadoes that tore through Tennessee yesterday. Man, you're looking at video of that damage. Some of the Nashville area here, that was where it was hit hard with homes and businesses destroyed. At least six people were killed. So scary seeing some of that there. And I have friends that live in the Nashville area. We were talking yesterday, the Hendersonville area. It's yeah. It's crazy to yeah, see that. Absolutely. It's heartbreaking seeing it, especially uh, any time of the year, but especially at this time of the year.